Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, I had a question sent to me. A couple people asked me about this. Uh, given what happened at the Capitol building and um, impeachment charges being pressed against Trump. So there's a couple things here. First off, uh, the word impeachment in itself is a formal charge against a uh, elected official. It's a way in which to address a particular issue. Uh, usually we only refer to it as um, in terms of president, but you can impeach other elected officials. So really what's going to happen, it, it becomes an inquiry as to did these questionable actions or potentially legal actions, um, and again, I'm just talking in vague terms here, uh, if it was such a problem, should uh, it be addressed? Now, to get into the specifics of impeachment in our country's history, there have been four impeachments, and Donald Trump made history because he owns two of them. The other impeachments was uh, impeachments were for uh, President Andrew Johnson for the violation of the Ten Year of Office Act. <laughs> oh, sorry, I put myself in a coma with that one. Um, the other was not Richard Nixon because he resigned because they basically had his ass dead to rights. Uh, the second one was for Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, a lot of people think it was because of the Monica Lewinsky thing. Um, well, actually it, it was, but not for what people thought it was. People thought, like my grandmother thought that, uh, that Slick Willie, uh, he got in trouble for, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, getting a blowjob in the White House. Not necessarily. He was under investigation for another uh, uh, sexual uh, sexual assault allegation. Um, Monica Lewinsky became a, uh, a key figure in, in character assessment of the of, of Bill. And because he had her lie on an affidavit, which is a class four felony, that was the big deal. Because here's the president, chief executive officer, uh, also, uh, Billy Boy was a lawyer. That's where the issue became. And the other two were Trump because of the Ukraine call and Trump because of what happened at the Capitol building, what, uh, inciting a riot. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of what I think about that and, and, and stuff. The question, there's two questions that main questions that come to this uh, or that people have been asking. One since he's left office, and this is something that Rand Paul, that Jabroni brought up, is since Trump already left office. So if you think of the Capitol, uh, Capitol building event that was about two weeks into to the end of Trump's presidency, since the act occurred then and now he's out of office, you can't impeach him. Well, that's kind of a weak reach because what you would do is you basically argue that the event in question happened while in office and therefore all the rules apply. The uh, second question that gets brought up is, okay, if they go through this, what will happen to him? Well, if he's found guilty, right? So if they go through the process, and again, not saying he did or he didn't or if I think he's a big orange asshole or anything like that. I'm just saying if they go through this and he's found guilty, uh, guilty, uh, or there bears some responsibility. What could happen is he could lose his pension, he could lose his travel expense, uh, he could lose his detail protection uh, for uh, if they find him responsible. Will he be able to run again? Well, they would have to attach a particular article to the impeachment to prevent that from happening. Now, when this thing gets tried in court, uh, it may come down to First Amendment issues. And I'm going to be doing a special video series. Uh, my friend Jen asked me to do a video series on the uh, on the Bill of Rights. So I'll be doing that in, in a couple of days. But at the heart of the matter, what it comes down to is with Trump saying the things he did, this will come down to mostly... First Amendment issues, and the First Amendment is a, your freedom of speech in particular. Um, the what you mean to say, what you actually say, the intent of what you say. These will all be things that will be brought up, but uh, that should be taking place. I believe February eighth was the date, so we'll see what happens between now and then. 
Um, it should be interesting. There are people like Rand Paul, like Ted Cruz, who are saying, well, what happened, you know, it, it, people were upset. It was, you know, it's two weeks ago. We, you know, we should, we should really move on. In the sake of unity, we should move on. To that, I say bullshit. Laws were broken. There are there were people injured. There was a uh, well, two police officers dead, one from injuries sustained at the scene. The other, uh, they're still investigating. I think it was a suicide. There's a lot of things here. 150 charges have been filed. If you're Team Trump, legit, if it was the other side, would you be so willing to let it go? Probably not. But let's see how it plays out in court. Everybody gets their day in court, and uh, that'll be it. So I'll see you guys on the road.